Okay, so as you can see, Route 66. I'm about to uh, drop into the Galisteo Basin. Uh, and I've been riding for about 40, 41 minutes. You know what I've been thinking about the entire time? I've been thinking about the Zine, AG23. And how to make it most beneficial for people who contribute. And I have run so many different harebrained scenarios through my mind over the last 41 minutes, I can't tell you. Including things like doing a print sale and then taking the proceeds and doing a uh, micro grant program which I might do but the problem is I've never done a print sale in 30 years of making pictures and I don't have the bandwidth to print ship take orders all that stuff so that's not gonna work but uh, we've made a lot of progress so far and it is going to get better and better and better also I'm running in my mind all the people in Santa Fe I want to submit there's a writer here named Courtney White, who I love, who writes about carbon ranching in the West. He would be awesome. And my friend Munson, who's a beekeeper and an artist, she would be great. And oh, by the way, Beyond's hang tags next year are all going to be plantable. And when you plant the hang tag, uh, what will grow is fodder and food for pollinators. So, And they're also about to put a active live beehive in the middle of their corporate headquarters. Pretty cool. By the way, there's a massive red tail hawk on the power lines in front of me. Beautiful. Anyway, that's where I'm headed into Galisteo Basin. Pavement today, no dirt. But uh, I'm going to check back my people later. Black Track by Wheeler and Tabanez. Commuters traversing the decaying roads of dirty Jersey are generally too busy honking and screaming at each other to pay much attention to the plague of graffiti whizzing past their car windows. To the streaming hordes, the fading spray paint is utterly meaningless, blending together in a mush of color like a bad tattoo sleeving the landscape. For the majority of drivers and their passengers, the paint-stained wasteland rushes by in a blur, but no matter how desensitized or jaded the population has become to the writing on the wall, nobody can ignore black track, raining high above all others. For years, I was convinced that black and drac were two different people, it made sense because no one person could have reached such incredible heights without an accomplice. They would have to be a team, I surmised. One person to hold the rope and belay while the other... All right, so I'm just getting ready to drop into the uh, Galisteo Basin. I just rode down from Santa Fe, and I just wanted to say one thing. People hear the distances that I ride, and they go, oh my God, I can't believe you rode that far. But it's not as hard as it seems. So I just rode 17.3 miles in an hour from Santa Fe. Now, it's downhill most of the way, and there are a couple of climbs, but it's nothing, It's and I'm not hammering, I'm just riding relatively easily. And uh, there is a bit of wind today. The ride back is shaping up to be a little trickier. Obviously, I'm gonna be climbing back up, and if I'm into a headwind, it's gonna be trickier, but this is pretty easy riding. The roads are good, there's not a lot of traffic. The wind, even though there is wind, it's not that bad. And, uh, and I'm just cruising. So if you see someone or talk to someone and they say, oh, I rode 50 or 60 or 80 miles or whatever, it's not like they're Tour de France people out, you know, running 30 miles an hour. They're like me. They're, they're kind of like pseudo decent riders, but nothing fancy. I'm five miles from Galisteo. I'm 23 from Stanley and I'm 34 from Moriarty. I was going to hit Stanley today, which is about an 80 mile round trip. But I don't think I'm going to do that because my wife is coming. She's going to meet me in uh, Galisteo at the church, and God knows what we're going to do. Stay tuned. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm in this little town, Galisteo, right, as I mentioned before. And there are a ton of photographers and artists here. And it's uh, about 22 miles from Santa Fe, 23 miles. And as I pull into town, there's two other riders. Uh, uh, two people on a tandem, husband and wife, and a single rider all of the both both of the guys were photographers uh, I having formerly been a photographer I thought that was kind of ironic and uh, I just also ran into a guy who's a birder and I love birding I've, I've never seriously done it but there's something about it that is intriguing to me and I also have this weird urge to learn how to draw birds so that's on my that's on my bucket list uh, and he was saying that this little bridge that we're on that's crossing over this area is one of the, the premier birding spots in this area, which is pretty damn cool. And he said, most importantly, the locals have left it alone. 
it's undeveloped. I'm just going to repeat that for all of our legislators and government bodies. They left it alone. So, can you see her back there? That's a good bike light. That's a thousand lumen front light. Hopefully you can see that. Although it's going to be tiny because I'm on super wide. Riding into a headwind, going back toward Galisteo. We're going painfully, painfully slow. Like really slow, almost impossibly slow. But I just wanted you to see what a good front bike light looks like. And out in these parts, you definitely want one of these babies. One person to hold the rope and belay, while the other rappelled down to paint. The graffiti lining the highways was truly an eyesore, a further blight on the already corrupted North Jersey landscape. But Black Track was different. The rest of the population seemed to have no use for graffiti at all, looking upon it as a dirty, low-class form of expression. For me, however, the cryptic bubble letters and indecipherable scrawls were like runes of a mysterious text hinting at the existence of secret societies and marking the demise of our decadent civilization. Esoteric gang signs and multicolored aerosol murals in depressed cities like Patterson and Newark were the talismans I sought on my daily forays into the jungles of New Jersey. By visiting the drug...